Hey, welcome back to the series of Business Studies Chapter 9 Financial Management. In this video, we are learning about capital structure. So this is OBC online business class. If you're still not subscribed, consider it. First of all, what is a capital structure? It's a pattern. It's a financial pattern or it's a proportion of the business which acquires different sources of rising funds or when they're rising fund from uh, different sources, they'll get a choice to choose from the various proportions. Whether I have to choose from this, whether I have to choose from that, that is called financial pattern. Usually, these sources of business finance can be broadly classified into two categories that are owner's fund and the borrower's fund. If simply in the other word, if I have to put capital structure meaning, like I said in a simple word, it's a mixture between owner's fund and the borrower's fund. These are the capital structure so we have a formula for a capital structure that is uh, debt divided by equity so debt is nothing but the borrowed money and equity is nothing but owner's fund so next we are moving on to the factor affecting capital structure what are the factors that will be affecting capital structures so the first thing is cash flow position so it completely depends on the size of the project which you are up to so that's the first factor which affect the factor affecting the capital structure depending upon the size you'll plan your capital structure how much i need to borrow the fund or how much i need to rise from the equity so that's what uh, next we have an interest coverage ratio this is nothing but the number of time interest before earning interest on tax that's called ebit you'll get a ratio for that that is icr is equal to ebit divided by interest ebit is nothing but earnings or a profit before interest and tax before paying interest and tax there will be some profit or it's a gross profit that divided by interest which you are paying that is called icr this is also the factor which affect to the capital structure next is debit service coverage ratio whenever the company is having higher liquidity in meeting commitment for the debit those company actually get a lot of option when taking debts so this is also the factor which affect to the capital structure next is return on investment this is also the one of the factor which affect major if the company is having more roi return on investment if company is investing thousand rupees and generating 500 rupees as an return that's a very good position so this kind of company usually get more equities as well as debts because they have a very good ROI. Next is cost of debt. When a company is having a capacity to borrow lower rate of interest debts instead of equity because they have an ability to get a loan with a lower rate of interest. Suppose when the RBA reduce the borrowing rates from all banks, this is the factor which affect the companies. Next tax rates. Whenever the tax rates are high, they used to concern about the tax rate. It depends on the country when tax rates are high or low it affect to the capital structure of a company next is cost of equity usually stock owner expect rate of return is very high when compared to debts because they are the real owner and they own the company whenever a company borrows money from other sources it reduces the return for the equity shareholders so this will be the factor which affect to the capital structure next is flotation cost the flotation cost is nothing but it's a process fees of raising fund when issuing like prospectus shares to the public because it do cost a lot of money when compared to raising fund from financial institutions so this is also the factor which affect well raising fund next is risk consideration majority of the business have their operating risk due to the operating activities so from this if they are facing some risk or if they are unable to pay the interest or dividend or repayment obligations so again this is another factor which affect the capital structure again the next factor is flexibility you should not choose an option of debt or equity full so that's why it has to maintain at least some ratio so that it balance again if the ratio is finding ups and downs this is also the factor which affect to the capital structure next is controlling when you issue too much of equity share the management control will reduce over the company because they are losing their right on the company as they issue shares next is regulatory framework it's like a rules and regulations every company has their own rules and regulations and they has to blend with the uh, sebi and government of india so this is also again another factor which affect to the capital structure next stock market condition if the stock market market condition is going up then obviously your shares will more and your company will generate a value and you can raise easily debts and you can raise equity fund also so 
it again depends on the stock market conditions again capital structure of other companies also affect your capital structure there will be a, always an industry standard or an average what we call so people will start comparing with other industry standard how much you own the debts how much you own equity so comparing those things may affect your business so these are the factor which affect capital structure if you like this video hit like and share with your friends like always see you in the next series bye